Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite Shopify app for marketing automation. I'm going to show you how to use the Allmets Shopify app to set up abandoned cart recovery, automated email marketing campaigns, and pop-up notifications for your store, all with just a few clicks of a button. So let's get started. So if you use the link in the description, you will come over to Allmets website. And like I said, Allmets has some really amazing features that you can use to automate your email marketing campaigns. So if you just scroll down, you can see that you can recover abandoned carts, you can increase holiday sales so you can run automated campaigns on things like Black Friday, and you can also convert more customers with pop-up notifications. But the thing that I really love about Allmets the most is that it's super easy to set up. So you can set up everything with just a few clicks and there's no complicated backend where you're trying to figure things out. And also, if we go and have a look at the pricing, you can actually start for completely free. So with the free plan, you do get 1,000 emails per month. But if you do want to upgrade to unlimited, you can see that their first plan is super affordable, starting at just $10 per month. So from here, all we are going to do is click on start free on Shopify, and then it's going to bring you over to the Allmint app. And from here, you are just going to click on add app. Once you click on this and have logged into your Shopify store, all you are then going to do is click on install app. Now, once the app has finished installing, you should be brought over to your Allmint dashboard. And then in the top right hand corner, you will see the name of your store. Now, from here, you can set up your first action. So Allmint has actions which you can set up and they basically are like different campaigns. So you have a abandoned cart recovery action, you'll have an email marketing action, you will have a pop up action. So you can set up different actions. So you'll see here, it will say, let's launch your first action. Now, what we're actually going to do is we're going to go to the left hand side where it actually says actions, we're going to click on this. And the first thing we are going to do is set up our abandoned cart recovery. So you'll see here, find a home for your abandoned carts. So we're going to click on activate abandoned cart recovery. And then from here, we're going to click on set up action. Now from here, you have two different options. You can choose the fast setup if you just want to get things set up pretty quickly and get going with your abandoned cart recovery, or you can go for the best performing setup. I do recommend going for the best performing setup because it's going to set you up with an email sequence of three emails and that will give you a better chance of recovering those abandoned carts. So we are going to choose this and then we're going to click on continue to review and send times. Now from here, you will see at which times the emails will be sent out to recover those abandoned carts. So you see be sent out after an hour, after 24 hours and after 72 hours. To be honest, that is the perfect amount of time. You don't want to bombard your potential customers with too many emails. So I believe that this is a really great sequence to just get started with. So from here, you're going to click on continue to email templates. Now from here, you can go and customize the templates. So if we go for the first email, we can click on customize templates. And from here, you can easily customize the templates however you like. Now, I personally recommend just going with the default templates. Don't make things too complicated, test some things out. And if they're not working, you can go and change them later on. But I believe that the Allmint default templates should suffice when you're first starting out. Now, the first thing you're obviously going to want to do is just make sure that you upload your logo. So you can click on this and then where it says your logo, you can click on drop or upload. And then from here, you can go and choose your logo and just hit open. And then you should see your logo added to the email. Now you can go and change the size of your logo. So if you go to auto width, you can just make it a little bit bigger. You can go and realign the text, but I recommend just to leave it as default once again. So you can go and make the text bigger and things like that. But like I say, I recommend to just leave it as it is and then you will see your logo at the bottom. So I recommend to go and choose this and once again, just go and upload your logo. So I'm gonna go and choose my logo again and we're just gonna go and add this to our email campaign. You can of course go and change any of the text in the email templates. So for example, here where it says drop us an email or a call, well, for my store, I don't have a phone number. So I'm gonna get rid of where it says drop us a call. So we can just click on this and we can just get rid of this. So I'm just gonna say, drop us an email. We'll be happy to help you get all of the info you need for the next steps with us. So you can go and then have a look at how it looks on a mobile as well, because most people are going to be opening these, these emails on a mobile. So you can go and have a look at how it's looking. So it's looking pretty good. And you can also go and change the content. So for example, you can go and change this image if you want to. So once you have gone, and you've altered the email and you're happy with the template, you can just click on save and return. So now you can go and alter the other two templates. So we're gonna click on customize template for the second template. So once again, I am just going to make sure that my logo has been uploaded to this template as well. So we can just scroll down and add the logo 
to the footer as well. Now you can go and add things like a discount if you want to. So if we just go back to, if we just click X on here, you will see discount. Now, if you want to, you can go and add a discount. So we could go and drag a discount like this. And now you'll see it's got 10% off. So if you want to go and for the second email, add a discount, I do recommend doing that. So for the first email, just remind your potential customer that they've left something in their cart. And for the second email, you can offer them a discount. So you'll see here's something special for you. And then you've got this coupon. So if we click on this, then we can go and change this. So you could say discount value 10%. You can go and change it to whatever you want. Expires in seven days. You can go and change all of the text. And then of course you can go and change the colors. So I'm gonna go and change this just to black because I think it matches better with my brand. And once again, I'm gonna change this to black as well for the button, but you can go and change it to whatever colors suit your brand. So now if we scroll down, we can see that you can go and change this container padding so you can make it bigger or smaller. But like I say, I recommend just to leave it as the default. So I definitely would say to go and add that discount. So now once you have done that, once again, you can just go hit save and return. And then for the final email in this abandoned cart recovery sequence, you can once again, just go and add your logo. So we're gonna come in here and once again, add our logo. So as you can see, I've added my logo. Now for this third sequence, it automatically adds a discount code for you. Now what I recommend doing is adding an even bigger discount code. So for the second email, you can add 10% and then for the third email, you can go, if they haven't already converted, of course, you can go in and we can add in 20% say, for example. And that once again, will just encourage the customer to go and make that purchase and then you can go and recover that abandoned cart. Now also you might want to go and change some of the images just to make it a little bit more exciting. So where we have this image here, you might want to go and change this to an image of your product. So you can see I've added this image of my product. Now you can go and resize the images. So where it says auto width, if you just untick this and we can just make this a little bit smaller because I think it's a little bit too big. And then once again, like I say, you can just make sure that it looks okay on a mobile and on a desktop. And then once you are happy with how your final email looks, now this area here is just going to be some of your products that they've left in their cart. So you can just leave this as the default. And once again, if you are happy with it, you can just hit save and return. So once you have edited all of the templates, now all you need to do is just hit launch action. It will then say success abandoned carts are now being recovered. So then you can click on go to my actions. So once you have set up that action within Ormond, you will see it in your live actions. And then you will see that anytime somebody does abandon their cart, that email will get sent out. So you'll see the number of sent emails, the number of opens, the number of clicks, and the amount of revenue that you have recovered using the abandoned cart recovery action. So now that I've shown you how to set up abandoned cart recovery, let's go and have a look at some of the other actions within Ormond. So we're gonna go back to the left-hand side and we're gonna click on new action. So within the new action section, you will see two other actions. So you'll see encourage second purchases from customers and also win back at risk customers. So this second purchases action basically allows you to send out an email to a customer that has recently purchased. So if they've already bought from your store, there might be another product that they might be interested in and you've already built that trust with them. So you can go and set up this action to try and encourage them to purchase a second product. So if we go to go to second purchases and from here you can once again go and customize this template. So you can go and add a discount code or you can get rid of it, it's totally up to you. I recommend to leave the discount code in because if they've already purchased from you and then you send them a discount code, they're more likely to make a second purchase from you. And then you've got this feature your best selling products. So within this email, it will show them the best selling products from your store. And then like I say, if they've already purchased from your store, they're more likely to purchase again. So if we scroll down, you can go and have a look at the template. So it's gonna say, hey, and it's got the name of the customer. We hope you're happy with your first buy from us. Here's something for you. And then you've got that discount code and then you've got your best selling products. So it looks really great. You can go and customize the template. So if we click on customize template once again, now from here, you can go and customize the template. So you can go and change the subject and preview text. You can go and change your header by adding in a different logo if you want to, but I recommend to leave your logo in. You can go and change the body text and change the colors to match your brand. You can go and choose your discount code. So you don't have to include the discount, you can get rid of it, but like I say, I recommend to leave it in. And then you can go and select a discount code that's already in your Shopify store. So I'm gonna use this Ringcast 10 one, which is 10% off. 
and then you can go and change your product list. So right now they just have the best sellers, but soon you will be able to choose personal recommendations and magic recommendations, which are coming soon. So keep an eye out for those. And then once again, you can go and change your footer. But I recommend to leave most things as the default because these emails are set up to be able to convert. So once you have gone and changed all of that, you can click on save changes and return. Once you click on this, then all you need to do is click on get second purchases and then you will see that the second purchase incentive has been fully launched. So once a customer makes a purchase, then they will start receiving emails from this campaign. So now if we go back to actions and we click on new action, there is one final action that we can set up, which is win back at risk customers. So basically this means if a customer has purchased from you and they haven't purchased for a while, you can send them out emails, once again, trying to encourage them to make a purchase. So you can click on try at, at risk customers. And once again, it's the same process. It's a pretty much a very similar email. So you can go and customize, customize the template accordingly, like how I just showed you. So you can see for this template, I'm giving them a 20% off discount, discount code with Rink S20. And then we, you can see that we have our product list. Once again, it's a similar thing. So you have your best sellers in there and then you will be able to choose personal recommendations later on once those are released. And then all you need to do once again is just click on start at risk customer win back. And then you will see that this action has been launched. So now you can go to actions and you will see all of your live actions. And once again, once those emails start getting sent out, you'll be able to see the amount of revenue, how many emails have been sent, how many opens, how many clicks. And if you see that it's not bringing you in enough revenue, you can always go and edit the actions. So if you just go into second purchase, for example, we can hit edit action. And once again, from here, we can simply just go and customize the template and test out a new email. So now that I've shown you how to set up those actions, the next thing I want to show you is how you can go and send out automated marketing campaigns for different holidays throughout the year. So if you click on campaigns, you will see that they will have some automated ones already set up. So we have summertime, back to school, Labor Day, but you can go and set up other ones, for example, Black Friday, Christmas, and all of those types of things. So for example, if we're gonna set up summertime, we can click on see campaign, and then we can click on set up campaign. And now once again, you can choose from a multi email campaign or a single email campaign. Now I do recommend to use a multi email campaign because they're more likely to convert. So once you have chosen this, you can click on continue to email templates. And then from here, once again, you can simply go and set up those campaigns by customizing the templates. So if we click on customize templates, and once again, from here, we can go and customize those templates accordingly. So I can go and upload my logo. So now you can see that my logo has been uploaded. Now for these automated campaigns, for example, summer and back to school, most of these templates have been designed around that particular season or holiday, and they want you to be able to just use them off the bat without having to change them too much. Now for my particular product, this isn't that relevant, but if you have a clothing store or something like that, then these templates are gonna be really useful, but you can always go and edit them easily. So for example, I don't think that this image is that relevant for me, so I can just go and delete this, and then I can always go and drag and drop a different image in there. So once you have gone and changed those templates, once again, it's the same thing. Now for me, for example, it says, hello summer, here comes the sun. I could go and edit this subject. So for my product, it is a wrinkle removing product. So instead of saying, hello summer, here comes the sun, I could say, get fresh skin this summer or protect your skin this summer, protect your skin from wrinkles this summer, something like that that's more relevant to your product. So now we can just hit done. So once you have gone and changed this, so for example, I don't use pink on my store, I can come in here and I can go and change the color. So you can just go and change it accordingly, make sure it matches your brand, make sure that it matches the products that you're selling. And then once again, you can hit save and return. So you're obviously going to want to customize all of the templates. So just go and have a look at all of the templates and make sure that they are up to scratch and they do match your branding. So once again, here's the second one with a 10% off code. So you can just go and have a look at all of these templates. I'm pretty sure you get how it works now. So now once you have done that and you've edited all your templates, templates and you are happy with them, now you can click on continue to schedule. So from here, you can go and choose the dates that you want your emails to be sent out. So for summertime for me, I could say I want mine to start on the 2nd of August. So then we can hit apply and then we can go and choose the time. So let's just say 9am and hit apply. Then we can go and let's say a few days later on the 4th of August, we can send out another one and we can go and choose 
the same time, 9 a.m., and hit apply. And then finally, we can send out our final, final email of the campaign. So we could just go and say the sixth and hit apply, and we can choose the same time. Then all you need to do is just hit launch campaign. It will then say that the summertime campaign has been successfully created. So basically on those dates, all of those emails will be sent out. So now we can go and hit close. And now you will see once again, your campaigns, it's a similar thing. So you'll see the number of emails that have been sent out, the number of opens, the number of clicks and the amount of revenue that you have brought in. So I think this is super helpful. Then you can go to new campaigns. Once again, you will see that they have the different seasons or you can create your own custom campaign. So for example, a Black Friday campaign or a Christmas campaign. And I'm sure that all months are going to be releasing loads of different campaigns anyway with the pre-made templates that you can use. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how to set up the pop-up notifications. So we're going to go to pop-up notifications. And from here, we are going to hit get started. And we're just going to start with this first pop-up notification, which is subscribe to the email list. Now you can see that Allmonts are working on a few other pop-up notifications that you will be able to use in the future. And I think some of these are going to be really helpful. For example, add more to the cart for free shipping. That's pretty cool because that's going to encourage people to make more purchases to get that free shipping. But for now, we're going to just start with this subscribe to email list. So from here, we're going to click on continue to discounts. Now from here, you're going to see a 5% off purchase if they subscribe to your email list. Now you can go and edit this. I'm actually going to go and change this to 10%, but you can also change it to a fixed amount. So they could say $10 off or for free shipping. And you can see that it expires after seven days. So as soon as they subscribe to the email list, they've got seven days to use it. Now, once again, you can change this accordingly and you can test things out. So now we're going to hit set up discount. And now that we've done that, we're going to click on continue to branding. So from here, you can go and change it to match your brand colors. So I'm going to go and change mine to this black color that I have been using. As a matter of fact, it's a little bit less than completely black. Then you've got the secondary color. Now I do recommend don't use just clear black and white because it can be quite harsh on the eye. So I'm gonna go with this gray color. You can go and choose your font. So I'm just gonna go for the Montserrat font. Then you can go and upload your logo. So for this one, I have a white version of my logo that I'm going to use and hit open. And then you can go and choose whether you want your pop-up to come up on the left-hand side of the screen or the right-hand side of the screen. So I'm gonna leave mine on the left-hand side and then you can go to the content. And then from here, you can change any of the text. But I recommend just to leave it as de default, 10% off your first purchase. So I'm just gonna say 10% off your first purchase. Subscribe to obtain this one-time discount code. I'm gonna say join, join the club to receive your code. I think that's a little bit more friendly, your code, and of course, make sure that everything is spelt correctly. And then I'm just gonna put an exclamation mark at the end like that. And then you've just got the button that says get discount. So now you can click on continue to preview. So now you can see this is how it's gonna look. If we have a look on the desktop, this is how it's gonna look on a mobile. It will just come up like that. So now we can click on launch pop-up. So once you have launched the pop-up, you will see customers can access this widget on your store. So then you can head over to your store and you can see I've got mine here. So get 10% off using your discount code. So then they can just close that if they want to. So that is really handy to have on your store. And once again, you can go and have a look at the analytics. So new subscribers, purchases and revenue that you have brought in using that pop-up. Now, the last thing that you can look at using Allmint is your customer profiles and your orders. So if you go to customer profiles, you will see all of your previous customers in there that have been brought over from your Shopify store. And you can see all of their emails and you can send out emails to this customer list that you've already built. And then of course, you will be able to see the amount of orders that have been brought in using Allmint as well, which is really great because that way you can actually see if the app is working for you. So that is it. For for this tutorial. I hope you have found value in the video and now you've got your abandoned cart recovery email set up. You've got your automated email campaign set up and you have your pop-up notifications added to your store. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more e-commerce and dropshipping content and give the video a big thumbs up and check out the videos on screen now for more e-commerce related content and I'll see you in the next one.